welcome to our ongoing microphone test. For those of you who don't know, we have agreed to uh, start working with wireless microphones, and as soon as we hammer out all the problems we're having that seem to never end, Dan, that's just not gonna happen. <laughs> but as soon as we work them out, we are gonna offer them to performers so you don't have to stand here and be stuck to a microphone and you'll be able to do amazing new things. So that's a thing, so please bear it with us while we figure that out and welcome. It's a learning experience. This, I was talking to someone who's gonna be performing later tonight and I said this was our mad science lab. This is a, the one opportunity we have to try out things in front of an audience. You know, as a performer, you can guess, hey, this sounds like a great idea. But until you actually try it in front of people and see, hey, that was really funny, like calling me something named after a vegetable. Or, or it falls flat on its face, like me joking about it. it pretty much, you don't know, do you try? Uh, so it's a, it's, it's a learning experience, and we're really glad that we have you here. I've been teaching recently, which I, you know, I don't feel really qualified to teach. I, I'm like, I, I, the people I'm, I'm mentoring in clown and in performance have sort of figured out the secret that I'm sort of a stop clock. If you hang around long enough and ignore everything else, I'm right about twice a day. <laughs> which, it's, it, that's a good day. Most people don't hang around that long. Um, Oh, they hang around, but they're off in the corner making fun of me is the truth, but I didn't want to say that. Now you said, oh, and I feel bad, and I'm going to go back to the thing, okay? I like this. This is good, a little back and forth. See, I used to stand here with a microphone. It was like giving a speech, and it was boring. This is way more fun. Thank you. Why would they make fun of you when you do it so well yourself? Oh, you're so full of crap. Thank you. <laughs> That's really nice. Let me tell you, getting up here without the microphones, without, you know, with all of this in front of all of you is tough. It's a tough challenge, and as performers go through this, there is every performer I've talked to, especially clowns, which is the thing I know best because I'm an idiot. As we go through this process, there comes a moment where you come up with your first really good, honest, dig in yourself, pull it out idea, and you crash and burn. You completely wipe out. And every performer I have spoken to has gone through this moment where they've, they went, everything sucks. It's okay to laugh at that because really it's the only relief you get from it. <laughs> well, you just realize you're looking at the world through poop-colored glasses. Which is about as exciting as it sounds. Everything just... Sadly, you can make your own, I've seen. So recently, I had one of my performers that I've been working with go through this moment. This moment where ever you don't just crash and burn, you end up hiding under furniture. And you have to dig them out, and it's gonna be okay, come on. And we're talking about this moment, and it's really, it's really hard, because you, you wanna laugh about it, but in the moment, that person who's going through that is in the world of crap. There's, I mean, poop-colored glasses, world of crap. This is gonna be a really bad analogy, I'm sure of it already. But you go through this process, and there's only one thing you can extract from it. Please don't make a poop joke here. That's a note for me, mostly. If you make one, just do it quietly. <laughs> Some jokes work, and then there was that one. <laughs> the, the thing is, there is one good moment that comes out of it. One, creativity. Um, the other is, if you can extract all the negativity from it, you realize, it's an all-encompassing feeling. You know, when you're a kid and you stub your toe, it, it, it's the worst feeling in the world because it's the worst pain you've ever felt. It's the toe-pocalypse. It's, it's bad. And you go through this, and over time, we build up all this armor against that. And the next time, you know, it's 900 times I stub my toe, I really don't care anymore. But the good creative stuff comes out of this process of getting past that social armor and digging past that. And then you realize if you can be fully in the moment, if you can be in that moment and have a good feeling, well then it's rose-colored glasses and that's a whole lot better than the poopy ones. Yes. See, I saved it. <laughs> the thing is, I assume that this was a beginner's game. I really did. I assume this was something that I experienced because I've not been at this too long so I can help people who've been helping me. I have a friend of mine and he's, he's shown up here a few times, I don't think he's here tonight, but he's a clown and he's been at it a bit longer than I have. And I got randomly, after this experience of helping a friend through this, I got a text just randomly, middle of the day, because he knew that clowns constantly need, performers constantly need this help. 
And the, the quote I'm going to remember forever, he said, the learning clown is not the acquisition of gags or jokes. It is the unlearning of survival techniques. Take the word clown off that. It applies to everybody who has ever created anything. And yes, we have learned how to get through every single circumstance of our lives with, with this nice layer of cotton around us. One of the things that's magical about this place is I, I assure you, everyone here is invested in you taking off your armor. They're invested in seeing what comes out of you. Don't make a poop joke here. It's a good moment. <laughs> but when you get to the, I know, it's like you want to take it seriously because it's a really good point, but I'm just up here making fart jokes. It's just terrible. <laughs> that's the most honest it can be. Dig into yourself, you come up here, Tonight, you're going to see performers who are not going to tell you fart jokes, thankfully. They're going to be amazing. And I hope as you watch them, you realize that they are completely raw and completely unarmored for you. Because where a painter can paint and be done, every time a performer performs an idea, it's not rote. They have to relive it. And your applause and your support of them, well, that's what helps them heal from it as they go through it. This is the best place in the world to do that. We call it the open stage. Thank you for coming. Woo!